Now we move to our second speech. Ken Smith is presenting the fourth project in the story channeling manual, The Touching Story. At a time when most of us are contemplating what we're thankful for, Ken will share his reasons for thankfulness with his speech. Please help me welcome Ken Smith, Thankful for Love. Thankful for Love, Ken Smith. <laughs> Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, I have a great deal of gratitude for the love that I have found in my life. Now, this is fairly recent for my 62 years. It's only the last 17 years that I'm talking about. You don't want to hear the story prior to that. I was not the nicest guy. I had a lot of issues. But toward the end of that period, I spent three years doing a 12-step program, attended church several times a week for several years, saw this lovely lady sitting a few seats down in the church, and then she disappeared. But I continued working on myself, and a couple of years later, she came back, and we got to do a project together for the church. It was a Father's Day picnic. And we both got on the committee and got to know each other a little bit. And one thing led to another, and I felt my heart change. And I found the love of my life, and I'm so grateful for that. It hasn't been completely easy. After a few years of, of really getting to know each other and, and sharing our love, our Linda became sick. She, she had a cancer. And it was one that is very often fatal. But we got it taken care of. We had surgery remove a tumor that the doctor said was the size and shape of a football, fairly large tumor. And the problem is they, it was so large, without, the only way they could get it out without disfiguring her, or cutting a huge hole in her, was to take it out in pieces. And the problem is, with that, was the, it, it was cancerous inside. There was no cancer going into her. It was all contained in the tumor, but cutting it into pieces released, released that liquid throughout her abdomen during the surgery. So she had to go through six weeks of chemotherapy just to be safe but in case they weren't able to flush it all out. But during this period, we were together constantly. I was there to support her and, and let her know that life would continue and our love would continue. Now, God healed her, not me. But I feel very good that I did help her heal her emotions regarding it, by being there with her. Not more than three years after that, I guess it was, we found out that I had my challenge, too. Now, I had, at one time, been 265 pounds, and we, I, my feet had become relatively numb. There was what I referred to as a stingling, a stinging tingle every night when I went to bed. And very often it kept me up for quite a while. And I couldn't figure out what was causing that, and I went to a variety of doctors. It was finally a podiatrist when I was trying to get fitted for a comfortable pair of shoes who suggested, well, there are a number of causes. It sounds like neuropathy, and there are a number of causes, but the most common is diabetes. Why don't you go out and check that? So I did. And my glucose level, fasting glucose level, was 314 on my first test. And if any of you know what that means, it was awfully high, it's, which means I was just getting way too many carbs in my diet on a constant basis. So I learned, Arlen and I went through some classes together on diabetes and learned a number of things about it. One is the carbs that you eat 
course, the, the blood can break that down immediately and free sugars that enter your bloodstream, which isn't a problem for most people because you use them up and then you go on. But after a while, if you have too many carbs for too long, your body stops making enough insulin to be able to fix those into the, the muscles and so forth. And then you just have all these sugars in your blood. And the sugar, a high level of sugar for a long period of time is toxic. And that was one of the things that was causing knee problems. The neuropathy, is, if you think about the, all the nerves in your body are like electrical wires and they've got an insulation around them, well, that shielding can be broken down by the sugar. And then you have short circuit, basically sparking, going along the nerves that was giving me that, that stinging, tingling feeling. You keep that up for much longer and the blood doesn't Take, doesn't feed properly into the extremities, and, and you can start getting black feet, black hands, whatever that need to be removed. And that's not the only problem. It also, the kidney is processing all of this all the time, and it can start breaking down the kidney. And it's, in fact, one of the leading causes of kidney failure. It, and, and I've heard people, some people say it's the primary cause of kidney failure in this world is the high levels of sugar in the bloodstream. So I needed to cut the carbs. I didn't want to just do pills and shots and things like that. I figured I got myself into that and with God's help and my wife's help, I would be able to get myself out of it. And so we did. Our Linden was beautiful and sexy and had 136 pounds, but she went on a diet with me. And she lost proportionally the same amount I did. That's why she looks so thin today. <laughs> but, uh, and she's kept it off and I've kept it off by removing most carbs from our diet. So it's not the Atkins solution in, in the sense that we didn't replace carbs with meat. We just primarily do vegetables now. But with her love and her support, I have been able to get the weight off and keep it off and I'm healthier and we are going to be able to share our love for many, many years to come.